Hello, stock traders. I hope all of you had a great day. Today was pretty good. Uh, lots of stimulus hopes out there that really kind of helped and propped up the market. Today, I finished with a 1.4% gain. If you were following all the picks from yesterday's video, then you would have had on this Thursday a 0.52% gain. Month to date, that would put you at a 0.52% because it's the first day of the month. And year to date, I am at a 488% gain. So very, very happy with those results. I had some day trade picks today and did not have a lot of success day trading today. For whatever reason, I just wasn't on my game. Maybe I was trying too hard. I don't know, but I did pretty well, I guess. My day trade picks today were WWR, SLDB, and ENLV. And so I traded those for a 3% loss. Usually I do much better. So at least it's a minimal loss. You know, that's how I look at it. But I like to use Weeble for my intraday trading. And the reason why I do is because I can trade as early as 3 a.m. Central time and as late at 7 p.m. at night. And if you are with other brokers, it can be pretty frustrating when you see a stock going up and you just kind of sit there on the sidelines and not be able to trade it. So that's why I like Weeble. If you're looking for a powerful broker with great tools and you want free stocks, you get a free stock when you sign up and you get another free stock when you deposit money. So check that out in the description down below. Okay, I have a couple sales to report. Sales from the top seven that were from yesterday's video. The first one was HOME. So at home, sold for a 10.4% gain. Pretty good investment for what three days that we had it. It was an insider swing play. This one jumped right in the morning. And so I took advantage of that. And then I also sold TCON, so Tracon Pharmaceuticals for a 0.8% gain. This was up just a tiny bit when the market opened and that was the only time it was up. It really, really fell downward. So I like to take profits early in the morning. So if the stock market futures are up and if we get a big surge on a stock right at open, a lot of times I'll like to take my profits at that particular time time, but I like to see it go up, especially if those pre-market numbers are up. And it's just a really good way that I've found to make a little extra percent or 2% on a stock I planned on selling that day anyway. And also, you know, to sell pre-market because pre-market is a seller's market. You have lots of buyers that are very anxious to get into stocks. And a lot of times you can take advantage of that FOMO. Definitely. You just put a good limit price up there, just a little bit more than where it's at or should open for the market. And you'll find someone to buy it. Typically there's someone looking to get in. All right, let's get to the top seven because we've got so many stocks to cover. And let's start with the others. So the others, the first one is EIGR. Iger Pharmaceuticals finished down 1.47% today, although in aftermarket, it is way up. And so I'm looking forward to tomorrow. I think Friday will be pretty good. But on Thursday, it finished down 1.47%. My average in it is still $9.54. They have a November 20th PDUFA date. And it's a priority review. And I like those for a run-up. They're typically very good. Analysts have put an average target on this stock at $27.67. So it's got a lot of room it can climb and a very marketable drug that it's going for and recent insider activity. So I think that Iger is going to be a great stock, especially as it gets closer to its PDUFA date. The next that's not in the top seven is K-A-L-A, so Kala Pharmaceuticals. Today it finished up 2.13%. My average in it's $8.81, and they have a PDUFA date of October 30th. It is right at about a month away, and it's for l which is a dry eye disease, and analysts have put an average target on this at $20.80, and so there are some targets that are really, really high, and there's another that's right at $10, and so a $10 one is actually holding it back a little bit, but I think that this is gonna be a powerful run-up, especially especially as we get closer. The next that's not in the top seven, but is a very good stock. This is another bio. This is SPPI. This is Spectrum Pharma. So today it finished up 2.21%. My average in it is $4 and a penny. And they have an October 24th PDUFA date, and it's for Rolantis, which is a chemotherapy drug. And analysts have an average target of this of $10.42. So this has all the things I look for in a run-up. And I think this will be a powerful run-up here in the next couple of weeks. We should really start to see this move upwards. 
The next one is DEI. So this is not in the top seven. Today it finished up 2.47%. This has been a great little stock. This is an insider swing play. And my average in it is $25.56. And I like it because Jordan Kaplan, the CEO, bought $1 million worth of shares. Very, very bullish, done an open market. And it was quite a bit of money. And the stock has been performing pretty well so far since we put it on the list. I think it's going to be strong tomorrow also. Now time for the top seven. Here we go. Okay, so number seven is Casavia Sciences, S-A-V-A. -A. So today this finished down 0.96%. My average in it's $11.71. They have an upcoming conference between November 4th and November 7th, and they're going to be releasing some clinical results. And so I'm expecting this stock to get a lot of attention as it gets closer. And this has had tons of insider activity on it also. The CEO has been buying shares, the CFO has been buying shares, and also this director who's been buying up quite a bit. And so for those two reasons, I think the Casavia Sciences is going to be a strong, strong stock as we go through the month of October. And so it should be good. Number six. Number six is ODT. ODT today finished up 9.08%. So this is brand new to the list. Called it out immediately on the Patreon group with our Discord and set on a notification on it. My average in it is $13.83. And there has been some big insider activity on this. And so that's why it climbed so much today is definitely a reaction to all that insider activity. They went in heavy, very heavy. So a director, a CFO, a 10% owner, all open market and big amounts of money. So this is going to be a strong stock for us. And now that it's on the list, I think it's going to really move up. All right, number five is UEPS. And so this finished up 2.67% today. My average in it's $3.38. And Value Capital Partners and Anthony Hall bought a lot of shares. And so UEPS, I think, is going to do very, very well. And so far, it's done pretty well since we put it on the list. So it's just kind of slowly creeping up, but it's doing really good. So hopefully you are doing well with it also and that it continues to perform for us. Number four is NVIDIA. So NVIDIA, NVDA, today it finished up 0.62%, so a little bit up. My average in is $528.25. And Stephen Neal purchased shares in open market, and the market has definitely been reacting to that and other news that the company has. And this is a great stock I feel to have in your portfolio. I like it for that reason. So we have this Patreon group, and it's really a group of special people that really help one another. And if you're looking to be a part of something where everyone is rooting for one another, I highly recommend that you check it out in the description down below. We have multiple levels based on how you like to invest. I would say if you have a job and you don't have time to check everything all the time, the basic level would be perfect for you. But if you are more serious about different strategies and different ways of making money, then I highly recommend the standard level for those folks that are looking to do that. We'd love to see you there. And there's a lot that you can learn from a lot of these smart investors and also myself with the insider picks that we have. All right, let's get to the top three. Here we go. Number three is VOXX. So Vox International. This has been on the list for a long time. If you got this at the time when we first started to recommend it, you're up around 21% in this, but I don't think it's done. I think there's much more room to go. Today on Thursday, it finished up 2.21%. My average in it is $6.42. And Kali Holding continues to buy shares and people continue not to really pay attention to this stock, but this has really been moving up very steadily over a long period of time. It's had very few days of being down, even when the market was struggling this last month which was not a fun month. So I'm looking forward to October being quite a bit better than September. But anyway, it's a strong stock and I expect it to continue to march upwards, especially as more insider activity is reported. And I expect that to actually be reported tomorrow. So that'll be interesting to see. All right, number two on the list is Fortress Bio, F-B-I-O. So this finished down on Thursday, 0.25%. My average in it's $3.85. Hopefully you're doing pretty well with it. I'm up a few percent in it. It definitely could be doing better. This has an October. October 10th PDUFA date. So it's coming right up and we're getting really close and I'm expecting the next three or four business days to be blockbuster for Fortress Bio. So we'll see how tomorrow does. They're going for approval on Tremadol and hopefully this gets approved and we should see running the rest of the week all the way up to approval. I do not recommend staying in for decision though. I've mentioned that before in the past. A lot of times someone will pop up on the notification say, hey, I lost all kinds of money on this stock. Well, why'd you hold it through approval? These are called PDUFA run up stocks. And so there's definitely a time frame that I'm 
looking for and a good opportunity to exit is just smart. I've just been through the pain. I've been there. I understand that you're hurting over that. I've been doing this a long time and it's not a lot of fun to be in a decision to have a stock turn against you like a Zosana Pharma. Number one on the list. Number one is Safe Hold, S-A-F-E. Today this finished up 1.74%. My average in it is $54.25. This has been on the list a very long time. If you had it at the time when we first started recommending it, you're up in it around 15, 16%. So it's really doing well. But Safehold has had 34 business days in a row that iStar has reported insider activity on it. And last year, from August of 2019 to February of 2020, they had 134 insider purchases in a row. So this appears to be doing exactly the same thing. I'm expecting more insider activity to also be reported tomorrow on this one because that would be right around the time frame when they report three days at a time. And so this is going to be a powerful stock and if it continues with this insider activity it's just slowly going to go up over a long period of time. So it's up to you. Do you want to be in this early? Because you're still early. We're, we're 34 days into last year was 134 days. So I mean there's still a long time left. Are you going to be in this early or are you going to be in it late and uh, be wishing that you had gotten into it. Anyway, I do a lot of work for this list. So if you could do me a huge favor and please hit that most amazing and wonderful like button. Also, if you were to share this video with your friends, I'd be honored by that. If you've seen these videos in the past and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and turn on those bell notifications. So that way you get notified when any one of these new videos is out. I want you to know that I want the best for each and every investor out there. Hopefully these picks bring you money and you have success with them. I know last month was a tough month, but we're turning a new leaf in October and I'm expecting fantastic things and hopefully you are too. Let's have a fantastic day tomorrow and have a great weekend and Raytoven out.